flight testing began back in May 2004, when the new engine was bolted onto an Airbus A340, a much smaller airliner. It dwarfs the other engines. Weighing over six tons, the Trent 900 can produce up to 35 tons of thrust at full power, burning a gallon of fuel every four seconds. These early tests proved the engine at altitude, but there's a much, much tougher test to come. Here in Hucknall, Nottinghamshire, another test engine will soon be a smoking ruin, deliberately destroyed as part of a dramatic and crucial safety test. It's an important milestone for the entire A380 project, and as engineer Hilary Barton travels to the test, she admits to some nerves. I must say I've got a few butterflies at the moment, but basically um, everybody's done the preparation and it's just now a matter of, of getting on and doing the test. But obviously before the, the engine starts, she's sitting there just kind of hoping it all go well, but uh, just really waiting for it to happen now. Every few years, a fan blade will fail in a jet engine somewhere in the world. A rare but violent event that must not put lives in danger. At the root of the colored blade is an explosive charge. With the engine at full power, it will be detonated, releasing the blade with astonishing force. Whatever happens, the blade must not be allowed to burst out of the engine, where, in real life, it could do serious damage to the rest of the aircraft. In a room 200 yards away, watching via a video link, are 25 key personnel, each hoping the test goes as planned. In the split second the blade is released, the engine must successfully contain an enormous amount of energy. It is a very, it is a very violent um, test. This thing is spinning around, it's at full power, so you've got uh, the forces on, on the blade are, are quite, quite significant. It's like having a, a locomotive uh, hanging on, on, that, on that blade. So you're obviously having to contain the energy of, of that system. So there's a lot of energy involved in the design and containment of the, of the blade. I mean, the whole, you know, the whole engine will get a huge, big shape. As ever, the size of the A380 increases the challenge. The bigger the engine, the bigger the blades, and the greater the energy released if one were to fail. Spinning at 3,000 revolutions per minute, the blades experience a force of more than 7,000 times their own weight. So everything is done to make them as light and as strong as possible. A top secret process molds the plates from ultra strong, ultra light titanium alloy. To save further weight, the blades are heated to 900 degrees in a furnace until they are softened. The gas is pumped into cavities inside the blade, inflating it like a long thin balloon. The result is a hollow part curved in three directions for aerodynamic efficiency supremely strong, yet light enough for someone to pick up and move quite easily. Each one costs the same as a luxury car, and a full set of 24 are about to be destroyed in the name of safety. As the critical test for the Airbus A380's engine gets underway, it's run for five minutes at low power, so final checks can be made. The main concern is that as the blade is blown free, the casing around the fan absorbs the huge impact and prevents potentially lethal shrapnel from escaping. High-speed film cameras are used to analyze the action, and at last, the throttles are opened and the engine brought to its full, awesome power. This is what it feels like to be inside a building 200 yards away from a nine million pound blade off event.
blade off testing is normally top secret. But for the first time, Rolls Royce have released this footage. Although the engine was totally destroyed, the fan case did its job and no large lumps of metal were ejected. For Hilary Barton, it's been a good day. I feel very relieved, obviously. It's gone well. We've had a good test, and it's all credit to the guys. And yes, we've, we've, got, we've got a successful test under a belt. So I uh, feel relieved and really pleased. Back in France, the plane is about to leave the equipping hall. Instead of the planned October afternoon, it's a foggy, grey December morning. Wow.